Hello everyone, this is Inspire2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your present, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Aries, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 6th of March until the 12th of March 2017. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the Nine of Wands. You were so close to completing a particular project or task but at the last minute, you were faced with yet another challenge or setback. Know that you have the inner resources necessary to overcome any difficulty you encounter, even though it may seem impossible at the time. You are so close to finally achieving success, do not give up now. The Nine of Wands is a sign of hope and encouragement that if you stand firm and strong against your challenges, you will achieve your goal. The challenges before you now are only the last bit of darkness before the break of a wonderful dawn. The Nine of Wands is like the one last test or challenge before you can reach ultimate success. You feel as if you have come to the end of your fighting powers but you have the skill and determination in reserve. You are in a position of strength and by drawing upon all of your courage and abilities, you will prevail. Once the last obstacle is overcome, you are home free. The Nine of Wands encourages you to be resilient. You will continue to be opposed by hidden enemies and your interests will be questioned. Even in the face of such adversity, when you are feeling battled and bruised, you need to be patient and vigilant. Be assured that you will eventually prosper if you maintain your position. And remember, if you do not succeed at first, then try again. You may have experienced setbacks that now leave you feeling distrustful of others or even yourself. The turning point will come when you are able to leave the past behind you and to cultivate a more open mind about the future. While you have experienced losses in the past, it does not mean that you have to experience further losses in the future. Turn a new leaf and push on. Sometimes, the Nine of Wands encourages a risk-averse approach. You need to expect the worst and therefore take extra precautions to avoid any negative consequences to your plans. You need to be on guard and wary of any potential obstacles or opponents who may stand in your way. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the Queen of Cups. You will meet a female significant figure who is most likely from the water sign who is nurturing, caring, compassionate and sensitive. She often appears as a mature female. If you're single, she might be your soul mate. You need to trust your intuition and listen to your inner voice. Trust the sensations and the feelings you are getting from your outside environment. You also need to empathize with others and to show true compassion. Focus on the emotional well-being of others rather than relying on rational or logical explanation. You are here to support and to teach others, by drawing upon your own intuition and sense of calm and emotional connectedness. Learn how those in need cope with life's challenges and share your knowledge. Hug someone you care about. One of the greatest assets of the Queen of Cups is her ability to sense the needs of those around her. Due to her associations with the element of water, the Queen of Cups can be passive and receptive. 
her sensitivity draws those who struggle and suffer towards her. In many ways, she is a safe harbor for others. Her ability to connect on a soul level enables her to remedy the broken hearts of others. Her warmth and genuine caring make her a beacon of light. Because she is so responsive to the feelings of others, the Queen of Cups must constantly uphold her boundaries between herself and others. If not properly protected, the Queen of Cups can lose her own sense of self. This is her greatest vulnerability. The Queen of Cups tends to think with her heart, rather than her head. She may lack common sense and rationality but she is highly intuitive and sometimes psychic and dreamy. Similarly, if you are finding that the logical approach is not working, then the Queen of Cups encourages you to follow your heart and not your mind. You may be required to turn inward and explore your emotions about a particular situation. The Queen of Cups symbolizes achievements made possible by the use of imagination and creativity. This is a woman who is highly imaginative and artistically gifted, affectionate and romantic in outlook. She is often involved in creative or literary pursuits, and enjoys art, good music, literature and things of beauty. Therefore, you may be more inclined to pursue creative projects, particularly if it acts as a form of self-expression. The third card for you is representing the future of your love life. Your card is the Eight of Cups. There will be time to ask yourself what you can do to bring a deeper satisfaction and joy to your life beyond the obvious pursuit of material satisfaction and or physical enjoyment. You are seeking deeper meaning to life and focusing in on your personal truth. You want to escape from the rat race and pursue deeper, more spiritual goals at this time. You are willing to let go of your material possessions in favor of something more meaningful. Thus, the Eight of Cups is often reflective of the start of a journey of discovery, particularly on a spiritual level. The Eight of Cups also indicates that you are disappointed enough to walk away from everything you have built up so far. It could indicate a disappointment in love or dissatisfaction with material success. It could also indicate that you have overextended yourself to the point of emotional exhaustion. Even though you have already come so far, you feel that you can no longer go on and your only choice is to walk away from the situation. You feel disappointed with yourself but you know that this is the right thing to do before you completely burn out. You may also be feeling that you are giving too much and not getting nearly enough in exchange. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. The Romance Angels have heard your prayers about your love life. Now, it's up to you to allow their help to manifest by stepping out of their way. By trying to control other people or external circumstances, you'll only frustrate yourself and slow down your answered prayer. There are plenty of times in life that call for you to take charge, but this isn't one of them. Of course, it's fine to have your preferences, practice visualizations, and hold intentions. Definitely ask the angels for your desires. This card is a reminder, however, that your prayer may be answered differently from what you had in mind. Be open to all possibilities and trust in God's infinite wisdom and compassionate love. Control issues are based upon fears that others, including God, won't live up to your expectations. This is also called outlining, where you hand the universe a script of how you want it and everyone to behave. Outlining could cause you to overlook an even more beautiful way in which your prayers may be answered. So, please call upon the Romance Angels to elevate your levels of trust so that you can enjoy the creative avenues by which true love comes to you. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just 
please click subscribe and you will get the uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.